So we move into Roman sculpture. And sculpture in Rome is very important. Most people would actually have a bust of themselves carved at some point. It was extremely common. And it's an Italian tradition. What they would generally do is they're not interested in the body. They're interested in the mind. Because for the Romans, the perfect person is going to be a farmer and a soldier when called upon with great wisdom. And these attributes do not require one to have a really muscular body like we saw from the Greeks. So we're not looking for the body of Stephen Haw or the head of Stephen Hawking's and the body of an Amber Crombie model. We're now looking at just the head because it is the seat of wisdom. And it's a way to celebrate rank. And here we're seeing the head of an old man. And this is actually a little bit misleading because they're using something called verism. V-E-R-I-S-M. And this is exclusively used for men of old age, usually uh, rulers of Rome. And what they're trying to do is look wise. And to the Romans, the way to look wise is to look older than you actually are because with age comes wisdom. So that's what we're seeing. And what we get is a bust of incredible detail. The bones and the musculature are painstakingly recreated. And remember when we talked about the old market woman in the Greek Hellenistic, the elderly are far more difficult to draw and sculpt than the young. So this is a much more difficult process. And this was probably created by an itinerant Greek or by a Greek slave. There are a great deal of Greek slaves working in Rome, usually as sculptors or tutors. And they would have been more familiar with marble at the time. The Romans, especially early on, are more familiar with terracotta. So we just have the head. And this is the Roman Republic. This is a time of great equality where one's merit is what's supposed to bring them up in society. But that doesn't hold true by the time we get to the end of the Republic. As we get towards the end, we get this portrait of a Roman general. It's actually Pompey. And this would, have not, would not have made him particularly popular with the Roman people because the Romans had a great belief in humility as a key attribute in social life in their own lives. So they would have never wanted to see someone depicted with that kind of body. And when you look at the head to the body, they don't seem to match. The reason is the head is trying to depict verism. The body is trying to depict that Greek ideal. And so they just don't work together. And this was part of what makes Pompey unpopular in many circles, images like this, where Pompey's trying to show off how powerful he is through these physical attributes that just don't play well with the Romans.